everyone, Pocono Prepper here. And what do you do with lots and lots and lots of cauliflower? Well, I'll tell you what you do. Since you can't can it, you have two options. One, you can freeze it. Or two, you can dehydrate it. I have dehydrated cauliflower um, in the past. Today I'm going to be freezing it. If you've never frozen cauliflower, this will be just a very short um, description of what you're going to do. First, what you want to do is cut all of the little flowerets off of the broccoli. And then I have a bag over here that I have all the inside stuff that I'm not using. You know, all the the bits and pieces and and this one was rotten on the inside, so I got rid of that whole head. That's going to go into my compost pile outside. This is soaking in cold water with salt in it. purpose of putting salt in it is to remove any bugs that might be in the cauliflower. Then I'm rinsing it and putting it in this side, and there's salt in here again. Once I get all of the cauliflower on this side cleaned and cut up into one inch sizes and then over here and soaking I'm going to rinse it well and then it goes into a pot which I have in the process of heating up and I will blanch it for three minutes. Once it's blanched for three minutes it then goes back into this sink which by that time I will have filled with ice water to cool it off. Once it cools, I will take it and put it back over into this side where it can drain. Once it's drained well, I'll pat it off with some paper towels. I will then put it into freezer bags or my vacuum seal bags. Vacuum seal up it into portions that my husband and I will eat and pop it into the freezer. And so we will then have this through the winter to be able to make different things with cauliflower. So I hope this helps someone if they, you know, if you buy a little bit too much cauliflower and you don't know what to do with it, you can try freezing it. As always, have a good day.